Yep, we need to talk about this. Roll the intro. What's going on everyone? Welcome to the video. You probably read the title. Um, before we get into that, just me personal YouTube wise, I'll take a couple minutes to explain that over the past week I've been ridiculously busy, which is why I haven't really had any content up on this channel. Um, I moved in, I am a resident assistant on my floor in my residence hall, um, so I've gotten a couple of random clips over the past week. It is Tuesday night, I'm about to try to go to bed here. Busy days, very long days, um, I'm very tired. But hopefully it's entertaining enough, I'll give you guys some updates tomorrow or next time I pick up this camera about things and, um, but I'm going to sleep now, cause I, yeah. Holy cow has it been a day today. So, um, as you can see, I've got my official polo, I've got my name tag on, that I am a resident assistant. Because today was freshman move-in day, had about uh, 56 guys on my floor. Um, maybe 10 or so moved in early, but the rest of them moved in today. We had like 40 some dudes move in this morning. And as you can probably tell from those very busy, also uh, I, I encountered a skunk one morning. Up there on the path, you definitely can't see it, but there is a skunk. You can kind of see the white. Can you see the white on the back? There it is walking across right now. That's a skunk. Like, do I move? Can I move closer? Like, I'm not trying to get sprayed right now. Like, what do you do in this situation? It's right, it's right next to the path. And go. We made it. We made it past the skunk. This is way too eventful of a morning. But other than that, not much footage over the past week because I said I've been very busy. But um, I feel like I I wanted to talk about this. The title of the video. Probably heard it in the news, and uh, you probably know things, but I feel like I just want to offer my thoughts. Not because I feel like I have some unique solution, not because I feel like, uh, like I need to, I don't know. Just because I'm a Catholic, just because I have plenty of viewers that might be interested in my opinion on this. And I feel like I need to um, be representative of Catholics in some way. For anyone out there that's looking for, like, what do people think about this right now? Like, what are people thinking? What are people doing? I'm just gonna give my two cents. And because, you know, I have a platform, why would I not give my two cents on this? So if you're unaware, recently, um, it came to light about, like, a very large amount of uh, sexual abuse from priests, bishops in the um, Pennsylvania, area talking like a thousand maybe thousands of children and uh i'll start by saying it is absolutely disgusting i don't think anybody thinks in any way that that is okay that is like the lowest of lows the fact that someone would take vows to become a priest to become such a a, a profound member of the church, someone to be a leader of the church, to abide by those moral standards and lead people by example and then do something so evil, so disgusting, so vile, just is so discouraging, so angering, and I don't know. Moving forward from that, action definitely needs to be taken. Something needs to happen for this to stop. I don't have an answer to that. I really, really hope that we can all work together to figure that out because this is disgusting and it is something that it's just, it, it, it boggles my mind and it's something that we, we really need to figure out. But at the same time, I think before we get it figured out, it is going to get a lot worse before it gets better. Unfortunately, there's going to be a period of a lot of mistrust of the church. There's going to be a period where Unfortunately, maybe more stuff comes out. I really, I really, really hope and pray that more stuff has not happened that we are not aware of. But I think this is going to be a long healing process. And I, I really, I believe this is going to get better. I believe that we are gonna to work together to get something figured out, to put an end to this, and I really hope that we do. But it might, it's gonna be hard. But until then, what I do want to say is for people 
that are, are, are mistrusting of the church right now. You don't leave Jesus because of Judas. You don't leave Jesus because of Judas. The things that have happened are not because of a lack of faithfulness from God, but because of the human condition. The lack of faithfulness is on our end, on the human end. It is not God's faithfulness in question. God is steadfast. God is loving. It is the human condition. It is priests. It is bishops. It is people. It is men of God who have unfortunately fallen into temptation in the most evil of ways. And the fact of the matter is that we all have the human condition and that we are all susceptible to falling into temptation, to falling into evil, because that is just the way humanity is. We are not perfect. Each of us has a temptation for sin. Each of us has uh, the, the ability to fall into not so good things. Each of us has something sinful in our lives. No one is perfect. Everyone has some kind of vice, some kind of something weighing them down, keeping them from a perfect connection with God and the best that they can be. And it, it really, it's, it's tough to think that these priests, these people who've committed their lives to serving God and to being leaders in his church have fallen so hard into temptation, into evil. But the fact of the matter is, we all have that human condition. It could be any one of us. It, it is a lot of other people. Unfortunately, it happens all over the world, not just with these priests. It's a lot more unfortunate that these priests have done it, but this is a sad reality of the world that we live in, that people fall into that kind of temptation and do these kinds of evil things. But the challenge now for us, all that we can do is first understand that God is still faithful, that God's faithfulness is steadfast and never ends and he still loves the same way that he always has and he's still faithful the same way he always has. But for us, the challenge is for us to be faithful. For us to take a stand and lead and live by example of the way that Christians truly should be. Because some of the leaders of our church have failed to set that example. But the fact is any one of us can be a leader. Any one of us, if you are a Christian, if you are a Catholic, you represent the church in some way. So lead by example. Be a true follower of Christ, someone who, as Father Mike Schmidt said, he made a very good video on this, do not compromise. Do not let things go by if something does not agree, if something does not align with the faith, with the service of Christ that you are trying to achieve and trying to stand by. Do not compromise in your faithfulness. And this is a challenge for every one of us. Every one of us struggles with that in some way, unfortunately, more for others than for some of the rest. But the challenge still remains to be faithful, as faithful as possible, to lead by example and to be a strong servant and member of the body of Christ. And if we do that, we can work together to show what it means to be a member of Christ, to show what it is we need to do to make this change, to stop these things from happening. Because we do need to make a change. And I really, I hope and pray and believe that it will happen eventually. But for now, the most important thing you can do, challenge yourself individually and therefore challenging others to be faithful and to lead by example, to be a strong member of the church and a servant of Christ. And again, like I said, I don't have the answers. I really just wanted to make this video somewhat a little bit to vent, somewhat to get my idea out there, and I know I have people listening. Now, if I have people listening, then in some way I can make a little bit of an impact, and if I... This is something that needs to be changed. And um, I really hope that you take that message to heart, challenge yourself, challenge others to be strong members of the church, to be servants, of Christ 
and to be as faithful as you can and hopefully inspire others to be faithful and hopefully we create this wave and make a change. That's all I really have to say. Um, yeah, back into my own personal YouTube stuff now. Uh, I'm done with RA training and stuff. I'll have more time to vlog. There'll be more content coming on this channel. Um, I know this was not a normal vlog. I just want to speak on this, and I felt like I should. So, um, thank you for listening. Let's make a change. Like, comment, subscribe, whatever. Um, see you all in the next one.